Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Shadowrunner Gaming. <clears throat> Need I say anymore? You see it on the screen. Uh, but you know just for context for those who don't know what this is. This is Hogwarts Legacy. And for those of you who don't know what Hogwarts is, maybe you need to watch more movies, specifically the Harry Potter movies. But anyway, let's see what we got here. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Fifth year, that's very rare. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before entering, oh, before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. All right. And um, I'm just going to skip ahead here to the creation. And uh, yeah, I'll see you whenever I'm done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally got the character created. And this might sound a little cheesy, but... I'm a role player, you have to understand that, and this takes place 100 years before the events of the Harry Potter series. So I figured, eh, I'm a big fan of Snape, so why not do an ancestral series with the mm, very fictitious Sartorius Snape. Let's start our journey to Hogwarts. Let's get it going, baby. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I gotta tell you guys, I'm so excited for this. I really am. Oh boy, I've been waiting. I have been waiting. Yes, sir, we finally get to do it. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I love Harry Potter. Okay. I'm shutting up now. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. 
<laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, oh shit. Beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh, wait, what? It's a bloody freaking dragon. Port key. Okay. You're hurt. Perhaps Ooh. a bit. Guys, that was crazy. This. It's Wigan. Okay, I promise I'm shutting up now. That stuff I'm shutting up. You shutting in up. a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit I would but stay close we've no idea who created this port key or why <laughs> how beautiful this thing is Take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. 
We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <clears throat> well, guys. Mind your step. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much right now. It's just that I am so, like... I don't know. I'm having a nerdgasm right now, bro. I mean, just look at this. Look at this scenery. Bro, the people that made this game, oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna have to contain myself. I'm gonna have to. I love the Harry Potter series, and I've been waiting for a game Where like this. suppose your wife got the point okay. that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Hmm. Okay. Focus. Nice. Excellent. now that's a bit rougher than i'd expected your one works improving with every cast thank you sir <laughs> oh i'm a nerd <laughs> that's funny do you imagine a lot of cadavers <laughs> yeah right I got this game on a discount. We're close now. It's just ahead. Got it for 35 bucks. It was $69, but not now. Just gonna explore around. Because games like this, we already know. Games like this always have secrets. No pun intended. Oh! Case in point. Anyway, I can do that. I can explore around on a, another one. Um, this one's mainly for just the story, so yeah, let's do it. Steady yourself! Almost there! 
their privacy that port key led us here for a reason let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! <laughs> that enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? <clears throat> Wait, is this what I think it is? <clears throat> no, this can't be Green Gods. No one, no way. Oh my god, maybe it is. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> we're having here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh boy! Hundreds. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way. Look to at this place, guys. As we speak, we're My just God. beneath the main lobby. 
The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Something seems rather odd about that goblin. Then again, I guess all goblins are. Professor, hmm? the old band that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? Huh? Oh, just I was right. That goblin back there. The Detective the Shadow on the case. The oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Okay, from my experience watching the movies and reading the books, walking into vaults and Gringotts... When was the last time this vault mm. was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Case in point. Case in point. Never ever enter a vault at Gringotts. What he just said just proved my point. You know what? I'm just gonna let the story speak for itself. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna find out. Thank you for your help. But if history repeats itself, or actually, if the past proves the future to be exact, then yeah, this ain't gonna be a good. It's not gonna be a good idea at all. But here we go. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Oh! I just, damn it. I knew it. I knew it. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? <clears throat> Ready your wand and focus. Uh, what is this? Steady your wand with the left stick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol. Okay, fair enough. I failed. Hold on. Try it again. Um. Ha! Got it. <clears throat> Nerd session coming up. <clears throat> Revelio. Revelio. Ha! There, Sorry, I'm a nerd. Move a bit closer and try again. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. 
If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Revelio. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. But the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh no, that ain't good. That ain't good. Oh crap. Damn it, I knew it. For it, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to kick some ass. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. Revelio.
Lumos. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh no! So that's why I was doing stupefy. Okay. So as long as I'm... So whenever I use Protego, and if I hold it down at the right time, it'll do a stupefy. Okay. Got it. Got it. Oh boy, that was intense. Um, man, I, everything about this game is just, it's everything I thought it would be. I love it so far. I haven't even got to the school yet. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Hey, wait. Isn't that one of those memory things? A peshling, is it called? Peshling, peshling, something like that. I ain't that much of a nerd, but I remember some of it. There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive. Oh, a pensive. Okay, pensive. See? I, I know some of it. another one of those things where history well the past needs to no oh, you, you get the picture it's never good oh 
Oh, that can't be Dumbledore. This, there ain't no way. This is a hundred years before Harry Potter. No way that's Dumbledore. I don't think it is. In place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. Okay, that's Rockham. The path or Rockham. Created. Rockham, whatever his name Maybe is. Maybe impossible to follow. Rackham. It will Rackham. Be Professor Percival Rackham. see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Uh, but, sir, you shouldn't be in here. Look at this dude. I was right. Ranrock. Seems Frickin my reputation gosh. precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> what are you gonna do, you Sir, ugly little... Never mind. They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist... I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Well, that wasn't very I nice. I have no patience for traitors. Bring it on, little boy. Now, where were we? Uh, we were at the part where I was about to kick any. your ass. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Bring it. <laughs> Oh, hell. That is one powerful little goblin. What the? What the hell? Okay, um. Uh. Run! Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, hell. We 
have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Next stop, Hogwarts Castle. Oh, look at, oh my God. Oh, I think I just had a nerdgasm. Oh, anyway. Woo. Oh my God. Well, we finally made it. Thank you guys for tuning in on the next episode. I'm assuming we're going to be doing the sorting hat. Maybe I can see where I'm going. Stay tuned, everybody, and remember to keep it real, keep it chill, and tell somebody you love them because you never know. You might not have the chance to do it tomorrow. Shadowrunner, peace.